All right, the one thing I've learned about women, everybody, is they all love flowers. I don't care if it's your wife, your girlfriend, your mother-in-law, your, your mom, uh, your coworker. Everybody loves flowers. 1-800-Flowers is an easy way to deliver flowers as a guy, which means you don't have to do anything. You go on the website, you click, you schedule it, and it just shows up. You can go about your life and enjoy yourself. Now, I usually end up getting flowers last minute, and then you walk into the store and you know you're getting ripped off. You know you're now spending $70 for anything that looks reasonably acceptable for a holiday or an anniversary, and you're like, why am I paying this much money? The answer is because you need it and it's last minute, and they know that. Check out 1-800-Flowers.com slash SSR for Super Speeders Rob to get your 18 Enchanted Roses for $29.99. That's one 800 flowers.com slash SSR. So order today, your life will be a little bit easier and that special woman in your life will be smiling from ear to ear. All right, so I had quite the rental car experience. I'm gonna share it with you so you guys can learn a lesson. Now, I was on my way to California from New York and I forgot to book a rental car. I went online, went on Orbitz, and I scrolled down and there were a couple options. But most of the the, the notable, the Enterprise Hertz Avis budget, were roughly $40 a day for a car, for a, an economy, a midsize. The economy is pretty much the standard, so we'll start there. Then there were smaller rental car companies still at the airport in San Francisco, like Fox Rent-A-Car, which was only $4 a day. And I was like, hmm, $4 a day, everything after taxes and all fees, 35 bucks for the full rental. I'm like, well, that's a no-brainer. I know they're in the same building. I'll just go downstairs. I'll scoop a car up from Fox for $35. Then it got me thinking, you know what? I'm going to Napa. It's a little bit of a drive. Then I'm going to Sacramento, coming back to the airport. Let me get something nicer. And I start scrolling through. I can get a luxury car. And a luxury car to me is a, let's just say, $60,000 car. That, that would be my threshold. That's the only way you can really classify cars in the car rental world is by how much they cost. So I reserved it for $85, including everything. I got two days in a luxury car from Fox Rent-A-Car, and I was like, okay, cool. Like, I just got a luxury car for the price of an economy car from anywhere else. I'm happy with that. It'll be a nice, fun uh, drive for my trip. So I get to the airport and it's a little bit earlier than I was expecting to get, to get in. And I was like, oh no, I'm here 30 minutes prior to my reservation. That could be a problem, especially because I'm paying such a low cost to get the car. I could see them being sticklers as to the delivery and pickup time. And I get down to the car rental counter in the car rental center and there's two people at the counter, two customer service representatives, two customers, and then two more in line. So I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe they'll let me take the car about a half hour early. Needless to say, that shouldn't really been a concern because after the one woman was finished, she went in the back, never saw her again. And then the other guy was sitting there processing. Sure enough, by the time I got to the counter, it was after eight o'clock and that 30 minute buffer that concerned me, no longer a concern. Now I get up there and the guy starts talking to me and I heard him with the previous customer about Oh, you know, you can't really make a reservation same day. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. I get up there figuring like she was trying to walk in and, and get a car. And I heard she spent 150 some odd dollars to get a car. And I'm like, oh, whatever. It's $4 for a car. How bad could it be? I've already got my reservation. And in my email confirmation from Orbitz, it says, no need to call and confirm. You are set. Blah, 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 blah. I get to the counter. Same spiel. Hey, sorry, yeah, you can't make, we don't have same day reservations, you know, we can't guarantee and the computer glitch, bullshit, bullshit. We don't have any cars available. I'm like, well, I just need something. I've now invested 40 minutes of my time. I could have already been in San Francisco driving some other rental company's car, but I've already committed to you guys. I'll take anything. Give me, give, I'll, I'll pay the $35, give me an Ocano box. I don't care. And he's like, well, uh, we have a Mustang. I'm like, all right, I'll take the Mustang. And he's like, I can give it to you for the same price as your luxury car. And I don't want to argue with the guy at this point in time. I just need a car. But you can't, con and he was telling me like he was giving me a deal. Like the Mustang is probably one of the biggest frauds the Mustangs and Camaros are in the car rental world. That people seem to put a premium as if they're anything other than a $27,000 V6 
with an automatic. It's not a sports car. It's not a very good... It's, it's, that should be the same class as any other Kia or Hyundai or anything else that's in the $25,000 class. It should not be classified as like, yeah, we charge more than luxury cars because it's a Mustang. People are so wildly overvaluing those as far as rentals go. It's astonishing to me. It's, you should have an all Mustang rental company if you can rent out a, a $27,000 car for 75 to 125 a day where every other car in that class would be 15 to $30 a day. That is a complete nonsensical um, purchase decision by customers. So anyway... So I'm like, all right, whatever, blah, 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 blah. I'll, I'll just give me the car. You're not doing me any favors by giving me a Mustang in place of my uh, luxury car at the same price of the luxury car. But we weren't done. I turned down all coverages. I turned down this. I turned down that. Just the plate pass and whatever mandatory stuff they stick on the car came to 110 bucks. And I'm like, come on. It was supposed to be like $85 all in, all fees, all inclusive. And now it's $110 for a Mustang versus $85 for a luxury car. And it's just, I've invested all this time that I could have just walked up to another rental company, paid the $85, walked out with exactly what I was expecting and been in, the, in and out of there in 10 minutes. Instead, I had this big, long process to drive a freaking Mustang for 110 bucks. So it was the classic bait and switch. So... It's, it's frustrating that that's allowed. It's frustrating that Orbit sends me something that says, no need to confirm, you're set, you're this, you're that, and you get there and they sort of shuffle you into whatever. And that, that is a classic rental car scam to take a reservation and then you show up and they say, there's no cars available, there's no cars in that class, here's a minivan, here's this, here's that. Everybody's gone through it. It's really difficult to, to get past that. And the only thing I could say is, Stick to the bigger companies because there's more cars. There's there's more cars in the class that you're looking for. Just take the cheapest car available. Uh, unless they give you a guaranteed car, guaranteed model for that money, it's really not worth playing the games with the smaller rental car companies. Um, it's just, just, it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So I ended up paying more for a Mustang than a luxury car. Uh, it was a classic bait and switch that can be avoided and if nothing more my time is more valuable like i for the for the 30 dollars or for whatever to spend that extra 30 minutes at the airport playing around with these stupid rental games when i could have just been in any car driving along i don't need a fancy car i don't care it was just like you know what for the value i'll take it and that was my mistake so words to to live by don't make that mistake just go with the larger rental car companies when given the option uh only because a guaranteed car is much better than the who knows what the hell games i'm gonna have to play when i get there and that's what i had to deal with so that being said thank you guys for watching i hope i i don't know i, I can't convince you not to rent a car i don't know if there's better options out there just stick with the big dogs, the Enterprise, Hertz, Avis, Sixth, Budget, and your lives will be a little bit better. And if nothing more, when you do complain to them, they're more likely to do something for you than the smaller companies that would say, well, you signed it, pound sand. See you later.